It's been a number of weeks and a whole bunch of lawn mowings and the flex seal is holding these screws in place on this bracket on my Ryobi lawnmower uh, quite well. And you know, by now it would they would have come loose. I'm shaking it around, it's not moving. I'll roll in a little clip of how these things stay in and how flex glue is holding everything all together. But Let's go mow the lawn one more time, just to make sure, shall we? Put it on there. Line things up. And hopefully, get it to stick. show you all these figs that are coming in? Look down here. Look at all those figs. I see fig newtons in our future. Notice all the peaches I'm getting on this tree? This one too. Yeah. Peaches, guys. Sorry about that. After all that, flex glue still holding. It's not shaking around. I think I found my fix. Use our Amazon link down below. When you do, it helps us out and it doesn't cost you a penny more. And after using the link, save it to your bookmarks so you can have easy access to it in the future. Thank you.
the battery out, it'll be a lot lighter. Okay, we're gonna do a deep dive right into this thing right now. Plus, another thing we wanna look at that I think you'll enjoy. All right, I know while I was mowing the lawn a couple of times I have shown you how well this is holding up, but I thought I'd throw it on the bench and um, really kind of take a look at this rubber. It is very hard and uh, it has not let, it's not moving. I mean, I'm, I'm yanking on the handle and had this been before flex glue, uh, this whole bracket would have been shifting back and forth. See how they kind of slop around? The screws were backing out and the, the plate would move away from the plastic tabs that the slots back here um, would fit into and keep from rocking around. Well, now these screws are not backing out. They are in there really good. I'm confident, however, that if I did need to take these screws out, I could uh, just use some force and it would probably tear up the, the rubber and not the plastic, I'm hoping, and certainly not the metal. And then I could reinstall it if I needed to do that. But it doesn't seem like there's any need to do that. It's not shaking around. It's not chewing up this plastic that's underneath this metal like it was before. I'm extremely happy. So that leads me to conclude, get yourself some gosh darn flex glue and fix your lawnmower. I'm telling you, after, I'll say 12 lawn mowings, and that's uh, six weeks worth, front and backyard, that equals 12 lawns mowed, and you saw how I kind of manhandle uh, this lawnmower around some of the obstacles I've got, and it these screws have not backed out. I think I found my solution. So, so much for these things that I showed you in the other episode. Um, I think these are going to be valuable for other things, so I don't think it was a loss. But I am going to suggest, go to my website, pick up some flex glue. If it'll fix a shoe, if it'll fix a floor, if it'll fix a lawnmower, um, it's going to come in quite handy for you. Get yourself some. Now, there's another flex product, flex tape, that I've just got to show you. Let me flip this... Uh, this whole thing around. Okay. <laughs> it's been about a year when I replaced or actually repaired this flap thing that helps create the vacuum underneath and it keeps the, the, the collection bag from popping off and all of that. And I'll roll some footage of this in, but I used flex tape on both the top side and the underneath side and as you can see the underneath side has kind of taken a beating but if you notice real closely the actual plastic itself that came with the lawnmower is missing except for this little strip here and this little strip here and the thing that's holding it all together is flex tape and it's been working great and I just noticed this today as a matter of fact uh, because it did get flipped underneath like this which is not good uh, because the the bag popped off and then I looked and went holy smoke the plastic is all Gone, I don't even know where it went. It's probably in the lawn somewhere But the flex tape on both top and bottom is holding everything intact <laughs> Kudos to flex tape. That's pretty awesome now I realize and I think I told you at the at the onset of the other video where we repaired this uh, I didn't think it was going to be a permanent solution, uh, and it isn't, but it sure did get me through an entire season of lawn mowing, and uh, right up until, you know, it took a year before this thing finally gave up the ghost. Um, unfortunately, I did have a sticker of Phil's face right here. I don't have that sticker anymore. I lost it in a lawn mowing, sad to say. Flex, guys, if you're listening, could you send me some more stickers, please? That would be great. I'm going to put Phil's face right back on there again. <laughs> I found Phil, <laughs> but alas, he doesn't stick anymore. I need another sticker. Maybe I just need to put it on with flex glue. Uh, I do have an idea, and I'm going to save this for a future video. Uh, hang on, I'll show you. There you go. Now, I've uh, 
Uh, I've put in a stick em on linoleum tile floor, and these are, I have some leftover pieces, and I think I could probably piece something together, making a nice rigid, I don't have any spare plastic around, and, I, and I'm a little afraid to use metal, especially against a plastic housing like this, but I might uh, take some of this and some flex tape and tape it together and stick it on there. Cut some holes so that these little brads can go in and, and hopefully I'll, I'll make a new flat. But I'm gonna save that for the next time we get together. I've gotta to source myself a little bit more of this stuff. I've got a couple of pieces, but I gotta get them cut and I'll, I'll, we'll do that at a, another episode, all right? And before I go, I just wanna say thank you to all my subscribers out there. Out there. You guys are extremely awesome people. Thank you. Appreciate you sticking with me. All of you viewers that may be stopping by on occasion or maybe just stumbled on the channel today or something, thank you for stopping by. You could have gone anywhere. There are gazillions of YouTube channels out there and you stopped by mine and I do appreciate it a lot. Consider subscribing, please. And uh, I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. And the reason is it seems like it's helpful on the YouTube platform that if I have a high subscriber count, that uh, there's more opportunity for uh, affiliate items to come in uh, that I can use and put on the on the workbench or on the review table and uh, bring a review of products to you. And I've always done that in the past, either paying out of my pocket or you know randomly they'll just send something. And uh, um, that's kind of slowing down a little bit, I think because it's getting harder and harder. So the more subscribers I have, I know will look and go, hmm, lots of eyes, let's send them a, a piece of product. And I'm not looking for free product. I, I'm really not. I'm just looking for some product, even if it's just for test and evaluation, something that we get in that we gotta give back, and I'm totally fine with that. The last thing I need is more stuff around here. But the stuff that I do get, I wanna test and tell my viewers about. Subscribe, share the video, uh, ask others to subscribe to the channel so I can get my subscriptions up because I know that helps. I know that helps. I appreciate it a lot, guys. I really would. Patreon guys, thank you. You guys are awesome. You guys are there for me. And if you're not a Patreon patron, go to my Patreon page and I do appreciate it if you would help me out there on Patreon, even if it's a one-time gift. That way I can go out and get something, bring it in and show it. And maybe just give a suggestion. What would you like to see? Help me out on Patreon with a gift and I'll go get it, bring it in, and we'll do a review. How's that sound? All right, like I say, next time, I'll have to source a little bit more of this or kind of figure that out, and then uh, I'll take you along for the ride because I gotta fix this. And maybe it's just Flex Seal in general. Flex Seal, guys, do you have any ideas how I could do this? I'm listening, I'm listening. God bless you, God bless America. May America bless God. You guys are awesome. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.